Hey, this is Jim in Broadfield. Thanks for joining us for another Broadfield Liquid Lunch and Learn every Thursday at 1 p.m. Eastern Time. As you can see, we have a special guest on the show today, Cynthia Gilroy from Sandisk Professional. Hey, Cynthia, how are you? Hey, Jim. Thanks for having me today. Uh, looking forward to doing a great show, introducing the next generation of drives. Uh, as we start off every show, we like to give our dealers a little opportunity to join us. When I found out you were going to be our guest on the show today, I immediately ran for the tequila. And I have a nice Don Julio Blanco. Uh, are you joining me today? I'm joining you. Excellent. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Oh, uh, now we know this is going to be a great show. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing better than kicking off a Thursday afternoon. Uh, introducing an exciting new product. I will tell you the brand new Sandisk Professional G Drive Pro and G Raid Mirror are in stock and available now at Broadfield Distributor. So you can take advantage of the products we're talking about today and the entire Pro Blade ecosystem with Broadfield as your distributor. We can make sure we get you the product, the information, and everything you need. Before we get into today's show, I do want to highlight some of the features that we're using on the Broadfield.live platform. You'll notice on the lower left side of your screen, we do have data sheets available for download on both the G Drive project and G Raid Mirror. We have a link to a support video that we're going to talk about in just a moment on today's show. And we have all the great information you need to get in touch with Broadfield. You, we also encourage you to ask any questions throughout the show. It is difficult to keep on top of all the questions. Uh, if we don't get, it, get to it during the show, uh, our Broadfield sales team will reach out to you immediately afterwards. So without further ado, let's get into the show. Cynthia, why don't we take a moment and have you introduce yourself to our audience today? Hi, everybody. So my name is Cynthia Gilroy. I am the Regional Product Manager for Santa's Professional at Western Digital. I've been with the company this year will be 10 years. Wow. So I am very lucky to have been here through a lot of uh, the changes. I know in the chat earlier, we got a chat about G technology. So I've been <laughs> around since the G tech days. <laughs> yep. Absolutely. And G technology has morphed into Sandisk Professional. Uh, the G is being carried over even in the new product names with the G Drive project, which I have on my left here, and the G Raid Mirror. And these are the two drives we're going to introduce to you today. Uh, Cynthia, before we get into details on either of the drives, can you give us just an overarching introduction to what's involved in this new family of drives? Yeah, so I think, um, you know, at, at best, internally, what you've got is still the same old G, um, <laughs> <laughs> pun intended, but yeah, so, you know, we still have 7,200 RPM drives in there. It's still the technology that you're used to um, with a couple of really cool feature upgrades. Um, and what you see is uh, the evolution of our ProBlade workflow, um, yeah. kind of going fluid through our desktop and RAID solutions now. It, that's awesome. So, And that's what I love, too. It is that same uh, WD, SanDisk, UltraStar, Enterprise Class drives that's driving everything through, uh, but really embracing the future generation of that ProBlade architecture, which we have introduced on past shows. And we'll make sure that we include a link to that as well. So let's start with the G Drive project. I'm going to pull that up over here for just a moment. That's this drive that I have here in front of me. And let's give us a little overview and a little introduction. Uh, Cynthia, can you introduce it to us? Yes. So this is the G Drive project. Uh, it comes available in 6, 8, 12, 18, and 22 terabytes. Uh, internally, as mentioned, it is still the 7200 RPM enterprise class drive there. Yep. Um, externally, what you see is an ID update. So this is um, an update to the previous model, which is known as the G Drive Pro. Um, it is a Thunderbolt solution. So internally, you still do have, again, the 7200 RPM Enterprise class drive. Yep. You've got the dual uh, Thunderbolt 3 ports. Uh, now it is compatible with the USB-C in the newer model. 
Um, and then a couple of updates to the ID um, and a positive one at that is um, the speed. So you'll get a roughly about 260 megs per second with the new drive. And then a couple of the feature updates are um, the ProBlade SSD mag slot. Yes, let me show that off because I have the G drive project here in front of me. And as you can see right on the front of the unit itself, this is the ProBlade SSD mag. And now I have the slot to put that right into the drive itself, giving me that Thunderbolt 3 transfer right to the computer. Correct. And then um, on the side, I think you could see when Jim had it, uh, there are actually um, now rep um, points available. So if you're working with a DIT car and you need to mount this one, you'll be uh, able to do so now. And then in the front where you saw the Santa's Professional logo, there is um, a dimmable LED there. So right above uh, that Sanders Professional logo, you'll see the LED. And then um, right on the screen there, we can see um, the dimmable LED button. So you can uh, click it once and turn it off twice and dim it. And then you can just leave it on as well. Aside from that, um, there's still the Kensington lock on the product. And um, for the ProBlade SSD mag slot in particular, uh, it is a 10 gig slot. So you're going to get about 1,000 megs per second out of that ProBlade. Um, and then just a little bit about the ProBlade itself, you can um, put a ProBlade SSD mag in there, uh, one, two, or four terabytes. Um, so that G Drive project really helps, again, with the seamless workflow. You're able to um, offload your dailies. Um, and you can actually have a little bit of a hybrid in between SSD and HDD here. And one of the things I love too that SanDisk has done with the latest generation of all the drives is are, are the color-coded cables. Uh, the color-coded cable in the box really lets the consumer make sure that they're using the right cable for the drive to get these maximum throughput speeds that we're talking about. Correct, yes. And so um, for this specific product, the Thunderbolt model, you're going to get the orange indicators. So again, like Jim mentioned, it'll be on the back of the drive itself. Yep. But also uh, the cable has the orange indicator as well. So that should be easy to distinguish between uh, our standard G drive model, which is the USB-C, and that cable uh, and the indicator on the product is blue. And since I have the drive in front of me, let's highlight that on camera also. You can see the orange plates here right around your Thunderbolt connection ports. So it does show you exactly which cable is going to get you that maximum throughput capability, allowing you to make sure that as you bring the G Drive project from one project to another, you're bringing the right cable to go with it and allowing your workflow to be as smooth and as quick as possible. One of those little things that really keeps in mind uh, the way professionals work and how crazy it can be. You know, when you're loading up your bag and you're getting ready to do your next project, you can grab the right cable for the right job. And Cynthia, you said the G Drive um, project is available in 6 terabyte to 22 terabytes. Is that correct? That is correct. Wow. Wow, 22 terabytes. That's big enough for just about every project you can imagine. Uh, so you <laughs> definitely get a lot there. Now, what I want to do is uh, talk about some of the range of customers. So this drive, again, in the Sandisk professional family, is really going to be built for the media entertainment industry. But it's really any independent pro or anyone who's looking to get that fast storage to Thunderbolt 3 uh, with that ProBlade ecosystem and that capability. Uh, Cynthia, anything you want to highlight here or case studies that you've seen along the way? Uh, we will actually have a couple of case studies available soon, but great. specifically, I, I think it's great to just note that in the field, what we're seeing now is definitely with the adoption of the ProBlade and Transport, um, we're seeing excitement around the project in, in the ability to um, offload. So stay tuned for definitely some case studies from us, um, and we will get them straight to Broadfield, and we'll probably have them on a live anytime soon. <laughs> Absolutely, and we'll make sure we get that out to all of our dealers as well. Uh, now I want to talk about the G-RAID Mirror. So now the G-RAID Mirror is the latest generation of the G-RAID hard drive. Cynthia, why don't you give us the overview of this guy? 
Yes. So this is the brand new G Raid mirror. It just started shipping, uh, and thankfully, Broadfield does have a bunch of units. So um, I think the biggest thing to note here is probably something you've noticed in the nomenclature the G Raid mirror actually does indicate that this product is going to ship a bit differently than it did in the past. So the G-RAID 2, <coughs> which um, was the previous model, shipped in a RAID 0, and this G-RAID mirror does ship in a RAID 1. Okay. So that is probably the biggest change with the product. Um, aside from the ID, now um, it is aesthetically pleasing to our G-Drive as well as the G-Drive project, all of our core um, products did get an ID update. And then specifically, we can go through the differences here from the prior ID, which is the G-RAID 2, to now the G-RAID mirror. So internally, again, just like the G-RAID project, you've got what you're used to, which is um, dual 7200 RPM uh, enterprise class drives on the inside. They are the UltraStar um, that you're used to from the previous model. Um, the same RAID controller that you're used to as well. Now you do have the uh, dual Thunderbolt, but obviously the USB-C capability, um, which the previous model did not have. So that's a little bit of an update. Um, and then of course, the dimmable LED and all the additional features um, like the rack mountability, as well as um, the colored coded cable. Um, so to help with the RAID 1 um, and a, a bit of the change there, um, we want to make sure that we communicate um, how easy it is to utilize the new dip switch, which we have on the back. So it's actually a much more user-friendly experience. Um, again, the drive does come configured in a RAID 1, so if you're looking to swap over to the RAID 0 to get um, the full capacity as well as throughput, um, you're going to go ahead and take a pin and pop it in the dip switch in the back, which is one of the coolest feature upgrades. Now the uh, RAID controller is easily accessible on the back of the drive here. And so again, like I mentioned, you're gonna take a pin, pop it in to the back of the drive. And then uh, based on your configuration needs, you are going to utilize the dip switch to, um, to put the configurator in, in re, uh, either RAID 0, 1, or JBOD. When you pop the pin in, you'll hold that for about three seconds and the dimmable LED on the front of the product will start to blink. Once it blinks, you'll turn the drive off and back on again, and the product will then be um, swapped over to RAID 0 or whatever you've configured it to. Um, the, the page that we see on the screen now is actually a support page. And so we've created this to help with the seamless process of reconfiguring your RAID. Um, again, as mentioned, there are the, um, the images of the dip switch and how you would configure in each uh, RAID control setting. Um, that is in the image of what the dimmable LED looks like once you pop the um, switch in, it starts to blink. And again, it's about three seconds um, and a total of probably roughly under two to three minutes um, as a whole to reconfigure this. So again, an extremely user-friendly experience um, and you can access this right on the back of the drive. Um, but it is um, it is intentional in terms of configuring that RAID. So if you have this drive in a Pelican case or you're traveling with it, you don't need to worry about tripping that dip switch. Um, the only way you're going to be able to reconfigure that drive is if you have the pin inside and you intentionally um, change the rate. So again, um, it's meant to be a lot more user friendly. It's meant to save you time and all of our products are meant to, um, you know, be used in the studio and to help you with your workflow, save time um, and get you the, you know, the best in class. So
And, and Cynthia, I'm, I, I'm really glad you mentioned that too, because that's one of the things I wanted to spotlight also is being the, the safeguard of having to have to insert the pin to change the dip switches. Uh, it's the same way you don't accidentally kick the SIM card out of a smartphone. You know, uh, it can't be accidentally reformatted and all the data lost. Uh, you really have to figure out how to do that. And for our dealers watching today, we do have a link to this support article on the Broadfield Live page right in the lower left corner. So you can get all that information right there and it'll lead you to this page and walk you through step by step. I know Sandisk Professional is working on a real easy video because we know your customers don't follow directions any better than I do. Uh, they might watch a video and see how easy it is to do. The combination of having the pin, controlling the dip switch, and watching the LEDs on the front of the drive make it a really easy process and allow you to get that drive out to your customers so they can configure it in a RAID 0 if that's what their workflow calls for. Um, but Cynthia, the other thing I want to point out for our dealers too, and you and I spoke about this a little bit, is I think the G-RAID mirror was configured and spec that way because of feedback you were getting from users. These drives are really getting to the point where in a RAID 1 configuration, they're capable and more than fast enough with that Thunderbolt 3 transfer to handle a lot of different workflows. Now, having that added security of mirroring all your data and making sure that information is saved across both drives gives you the best of both worlds. Yes. Um, and in terms of capacity, you can actually get up to 44 terabytes in there. So in the, in the RAID 1, it's going to ship in 22 terabytes, but full capacity-wise, we have 12. Um, 16, 24, 36, and 44 terabytes. Awesome. And again, at 44 terabytes in a RAID 1 mirror configuration, you're getting 22 terabytes of usable storage, but all your data is stored across both drives simultaneously. With the reformatting process that we talked about, you do get the full usable 44 terabyte space. You get increased transfer speeds because of the RAID 0 configuration but you are losing the redundancy. So it really depends on the workflow and what's required. Uh, look, we can give our customers lots and lots of raids so they can get the redundancy and backup onto other units as well. Um, and also just to help with um, indicators on the box there, um, you do have an indicator that clearly states that the product ships in a default RAID 1. Um, there is a QR code on the back which has a speed chart. So it's going to say what you can expect to receive in a RAID 1 versus a RAID 0 and or JBOD. And then the QR code does lead to the support page which has um, a bunch of handy dandy resources. Right now there are links um, with images, but in the coming weeks we will have a ton of how-to videos and we will provide those to Broadfield as well as all of you. Um, so yeah, we're just hoping that you will all enjoy the upgrades as much as we do. Um, and and I want to point out what you were saying on the box too. Uh, oh. For our dealers to know, you'll see that I have a 16 terabyte G-RAID mirror here. And where it does say it's a 16 terabyte drive, it says the default configuration is in RAID 1 at 8 terabytes of storage. So it is clearly presented on the box itself. Uh, you get customers that walk into your storefront, you bring it out, you talk to them at a trade show, all that information is clearly presented on the box itself, and it really allows them to make the decision of what they need into the workflow and determine how large of a G-RAID mirror they need. Um, and Cynthia, as you mentioned, that G-RAID mirror does have the same ProBlade slot in the front of it as the G-Drive project, so that's something that's being carried across the product line also, allowing me to take that one terabyte, two terabyte SSD mag into the field and now bring it back to my desktop and offload that into my raid for the project as well yes um so seamless workflow uh again with the pro blade slot there um it is a 10 gig so you're going to get about a thousand makes per second and then for performance um on the back of the of the product box the qr code does also lead to 
um, again, that configuration chart, which communicates uh, the amount of space you're getting, um, as well as the speed. So in a RAID 0, you're going to get roughly somewhere between up to 250 to 260 megs per second. I'm sorry, that's in the RAID 1. Yep. And then in a RAID 0, you're going to get up to 510 megs per second in that uh, G-grade mirror. So. Perfect. Awesome. And again, this is the G Drive project and the G Ray Mirror. They are in stock and available now at Broadfield. We have a few questions that have come in throughout the course of the webinar. So let's see what we can answer here. Uh, the first one being, what is, uh, I think you just answered this one on the G Raids, but let's go back to the G Drive project for a moment. What is the top data transfer speed for the G Drive project? On the project, you're also going to get a 260 for the 18 and 22 terabytes. In the lower caps, you're going to get up to 250 megs per second. Beautiful. The next question is, what sets the SanDisk Professional G-RAID mirror apart from other storage options? Well, so we do have the hardware RAID controller. Yep. Um, also, we are very studio-centric. So like we mentioned, um, aside from the hardware RAID, you do have the ability to access those drives. Um, they are hot swappable. Um, we do configure it in the RAID, so you've got that redundancy. Um, and then, of course, you know, with Sanders Professional and all our dealers, we do um, pride ourselves on offering the best customer support. So, I, I, um, I fully support our products, and I know that they they do as well. So we're hoping that you enjoy the changes, and we look forward to hearing your feedback. Cynthia, I think you're being a little bit modest. I'm going to say there's quite a bit that sets it apart. Uh, starting first with the cosmetic look and the design, you spoke about the rack mountable capability with the things on the side. Uh, we spoke even about the color-coded cables in knowing that you're going to have the right cable and the transfer speed. I think what really sets these drives apart is that Sandisk Professional is built for professionals who are using these in project-based workflows, in real mission-critical, deadline-critical, you know, there's nothing worse than knowing you have to meet a deadline. You connected the wrong cable or you packed up the wrong drive, and now you're working at a snail's pace and not getting the full capacity that you need to get. Uh, so all of that put together, I think, is really what sets these drives apart from some of the other solutions that are out there. And the fact that the Sanders Professional is wholly owned by WD. We have the Ultrastar Enterprise class drives. Uh, it, it makes it a good resource to get those drives to make sure that these, these models keep on flowing out here. <laughs> yes, cheers to that. <laughs> so the next question is, what happens if I change the dip switches from mirror to a RAID zero? Do I lose all my data? Yes, so you need to make sure that you're backing anything up that you would have started um, with obviously, ideally, you're going to know how you want to use the product, your product out of the box, and hopefully, you'll be able to configure that. Um, but if you do uh, need to reconfigure after you've started something, you you need to back up your data um, yep. before because it's basically going to kill anything that was on the drive. Absolutely, it's like reformatting any other hard drive. Uh, you're mm -hmm. reformatting to create the RAID. Uh, fortunately, I think most of our dealers know the customers they're working with are going to determine the RAID level that they need before they start using the drive. And you and I spoke in length already about all the safeguards in place to make sure that reformatting doesn't happen accidentally. Yeah. Can these products handle our future storage needs? I think that's a loaded question. I would say reach out to your dealer or Broadfield dealers who are tuned in and figure out what the future storage needs are. Um, I think the, the resellers that we sell to, they work in the media and entertainment business all the time. They have a better handle of what those future storage needs just from the experience of dealing with their customers now. A documentary producer is going to have much greater storage needs than someone producing TV commercials. It, it could be as simple as that. So it's really just identifying what the project is. The next question, oh, we have a, a good comment for you. They liked and step up in the product design. 
They said great design, smart packaging, great setup. Thank Can you. Sanders Professional offer pre-packed starter bundles with a mirror or project, transport, and multiple blades? So obviously this person is a fan of the ProBlade ecosystem. I have a ProBlade transport in front of me. I have the SSD mags. We have the G drive, we have the RAID. The question is, are we talking about putting together bundles that our resellers can bring out and offer to their customers? Are we, Jim? <laughs> I think. <laughs> I, I guess I, we need to have a call, huh? <laughs> I, I, I think that sounds like a definite maybe. <laughs> uh, I, what I would say is reach out to your Brookfield sales rep. Uh, let us know what bundle you would like to pitch to your customers. Let's find that opening. We can obviously create a soft bundle from Broadfield's inventory here with all the products that we talked about. And I think this is a great question to say, Cynthia and I need to go to the chalkboard and figure out what we can put together uh, to help you bring that offering to your customers. But I, I think it's a great idea. I guess we make them happy for holiday, huh? <laughs> I, I, I really think so. I can't believe, though, that question came in from an anonymous source. So now we have a great idea from someone who's going to get absolutely no credit for it. So we're going to take all the credit for that one, Cynthia. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us today. Obviously, if anyone else has any other questions on the Sanders Professional product line, on the ProBlade series of products, on the new G-Drive project or G-Raid Mirror, you can reach out to me at jim at broadfield.com. Reach out to your Broadfield sales team at 800-634-5178. Cynthia, I think you're going to get us a bunch of videos, a bunch of marketing materials, everything that Broadfield and our dealers need to help launch these products successfully, right? Of course we will. Thank you Excellent. so much for your support. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us today. And tune in every Thursday at 1 p.m. Eastern. Until next week. Cheers. Broadfield Distributing is a value-added distributor of live production, streaming, video editing, and storage products. We only sell to resellers. We are always looking for new dealers. So call us at 1-800-634-5178 or email sales at broadfield.com. You'll like doing business with Broadfield because we make it easy to do business.